Hello from Fine Arts. Today we are going to create a beautiful polar bear with a background landscape inspired by the amazing Ted Harrison. Get your paper, get your sharpie, we're going to start drawing. So the first thing we're going to start with is a border. Hold your paper down, across, down, across. Put your name in the corner. Every artist should sign their artwork. Okay, to start with the polar bear, we're going to start with the face. And so um, I started with um, two dots for the eyes and then an oval for the mouth and I did a circle, a line down, and a smile. Now you can change this. I'll show you how to do the other one in just a minute. You can curl around and then you could do two ears, oval, arc, and then you do a little ear inside, like a little hill. There you go. Now that's one way. Let me show you the other um, face that you can do if you wanted to change it. So you can do, um, you would do the two dots for the eyes and then you do an oval for the mouth. And then you do a sideways oval, down, arc up, arc up, and then a tongue if you wanted to make him look happy. And then you would do a big hill, and then the ears are oval, oval. And then you're going to put a little one inside, fill it in with Sharpie, fill it in with Sharpie. So this is if you want your polar bear to have a tongue. And let me go back to this one. Okay, so the rest of the body comes all the way down and it kind of kind of comes out farther because a polar bear is pretty big. There we go. And then um, for the arms, the arms are coming in, but you're welcome to change your um, bear if you want it to have feet or if you want it to be bigger. So they come down diagonal and then they go in, there's one, and then there's one more. Arc around, and then it goes in. And then we're gonna do lines for textures around the face. So we're gonna do some lines here, just random, around the eyes. They're gonna, and then they're gonna come down this way, same thing. We're going to come down this way, following the arms, this way, following the arms. And then around the mouth, there's just a couple, one, two, three, four, five, two, just like that. And then inside the arms, a few lines coming down. And then on the other one. And then we want to give the... Um, Pause some claws, so just a little line like this. There's one paw with claws. Okay, and then these lines continue all the way down, and you kind of come to an arc around here, and then keep going. There we go. And then the same thing down here, it kind of arcs around. And I'm just going with however I'm feeling. Okay, there is our polar bear. He looks pretty happy. Then for our background landscape, um, we're picturing our polar bear in Canada. So I'm going to just start over here and do a line, come across, another line, come all the way down, another one. And then you can do as many as you want. 
It's up to you. And then there's going to be two hills. Around. And maybe there's another one this way. Again, you can see that my drawing looks different than this one, and that is okay. All right, I think he looks great. Time to paint. Get out your paints. Get your water. Make sure you can see this. Let me turn my music on. Okay, so when I did the background, I did a lot of color mixing. We're going to have fun with this. See that? Let me make sure. Okay, so um, get your water up, wake your brush up by getting it wet. Okay, I'm going to start with this. Um, actually, no, I'm going to start with the yellow. So I did the yellow if I count my sections one, two, three, four. I'm going to start with my lightest color first. So, yeah, let's do. Um, yellow first. Wake up your yellow. Hello yellow. And I started with drawing on a dark line of yellow and then filling it in. And then the same thing over here. And then as the paint spreads, it's going to be a little bit lighter. So lots of paint at the top. Okay, lots of paint at the top so it's dark. Then watch what you can do. You can get your water. You just get a little bit of water and you spread it around. So it'll be lighter at the bottom. And yellow is a little bit transparent. Transparent means it can be see-through. So you might want to do another coat of yellow when it dries. But I wanted to give, make it look like a landscape that had um, variation. So that's why it's nice and dark at the top. Look, I can even put some extra paint in there. So it doesn't look solid. Okay, cute. All right, I'm gonna let that section dry. Okay, now this middle section I'm gonna do blue. So wake up your blue, just solid blue. Again, same idea. So start with the dark, draw your line. Be careful not to spill in the polar bear. If you do, that's okay. So dark at the top, and then it spreads lighter at the bottom. Okay, same thing over here. So I put lots of the paint at the top. Then I can get just a little bit of water and it spreads it so it's lighter at the bottom. Okay, now this bottom section I did blue and purple. So watch how I do this. And you can, you can do your color mixing on your palette on the side or on your paper. So I threw in some blue, okay. Then um, I grabbed some purple. The purple is at the bottom, right above the brown. And I kind of mixed them together and I played with it kind of on my paper. So it's gonna make it look a little bit darker. And you know what I would add, actually? Grab some of that red. Watch this. If you put a little bit of red in there, the red and the blue will make a really dark, a darker purple. Okay, and I kind of just let those colors mix together and if it spills over, that's okay. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, same thing on this other side. So we're gonna do blue. Put a little blue in there. Okay, a little bit of purple. The purple changes it, it makes it like an ultramarine blue. Then, and if it's too wet, you can wipe it on your paper towel. Then grab some of that red. Oh yeah, the red is good. See, so it changes the color. And I'm not gonna play with it too much. Just let it, 
let it do its thing. Cute. Okay. And I'm gonna let those two sections dry. Um, now, these mountains up here, I did a color combination. So we'll mix it on our palette. So I did the turquoise blue and it was very, very light. So to make the value lighter, you add a lot of water. So you see, makes it lighter. And then I also added green. And so by adding green, ooh yeah, look at that. See how light it is? That's really nice. Okay, so it's like a blue green. And then um, again, come use your brush going around the edge and then fill it in. And then I went around the ears. Around the ears. And then be mindful that the yellow might still be wet. So maybe let's go, try not to. And if there's some white in there, that's okay. We're gonna actually add some color to this in a minute. So it's just gonna give it some different um, value so it looks like mountains. This is Canada, so we could. this could be from the Northern Lights. So you have different colors. Okay, now take some of that blue and throw some of that blue in it over top. So it's darker at the top. And then you can use your water to play with it. Maybe you want to throw some green in this one, make it a little bit different. Some green or blue. So you're just gonna play with it until you like it. You're welcome to change it. If you don't want to follow mine, you can do it any way you want. It's lighter on the bottom. Darker on the top some green over here. Okay, boy do those look like some great mountains. Okay, and I think this yellow is pretty dry. So now this section here I did with red and orange. So we'll start with red and I'm gonna do like my line across and fill it in, maybe leave some spaces. And if your red looks pink, then you'll, the orange will change it. So here's my red. Be careful of the polar bear. Okay, then I'm gonna add my orange. Wake up the orange. And I'm gonna have more orange on the bottom. But then maybe I'll just let it mix together. If you wanted to add some more red. And then I just kind of let the colors mold together. So cute. Now, up here, you're welcome to do it however you want. Um, you can see that I just did little arcs with my paintbrush. So maybe I'll just do some red ones. And then maybe I'll add some orange ones. And maybe I will, finally, my favorite, a little bit of yellow. Top. 
Okay, I hope you had fun in fine arts today with our polar bear. You're welcome to change it. Inspired by Ted Harrison. Till next time. Bye.